Amen. It's the ISO guy sensei, the greatest nigga on 2K in existence. And look, man, we got a very hilarious video for y'all. So y'all are going to want to stick around for its entirety. Promise you. Now this, this nigga power is crazy. Before we get right into it, man, make sure y'all subscribe if you're new. Comment down below how you feel. Turn on them noties and drop a like if you think power need some type of therapy or 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 something man like because there's something wrong with him man listen to this man L listen to this this was brought to my attention man listen to this bro i'm gonna play it real quick and then i'm gonna go over it with y'all listen you get friends with you and i used to talk to you every single day i would do a little background check like is that is, <laughs> is that bad and then and then people would act like i'm yes. stalking them because i'm finna do the back what? check who finna do the background check on you <laughs> See, that's the thing. I make sure nobody can check me. But, like, I, I do a bro. little, you know what I mean? That sounds weird, bro. Bro, but it's like, bro. it gotta be dumb, bro. Bro. It's gotta be dumb. Bro, even the nigga that's dick sucking, you know, the nigga that is sucking powers virtual cock, the bi curious cock, even though he's doing that, he has to say that's kind of weird. And you can tell it's not a joke, bro. Listen to this, man. Look, power, consent? What do you mean? What do you mean? This is not a job. Y'all are a bunch of niggas playing video games. It don't matter what it could turn into. It don't matter how many followers y'all got, bro. Y'all are playing a video game, bro. This is a this how you know this nigga power is weird, bro. You know a sun fearer, person that didn't go outside much, a a non sports player, man. Listen to what this nigga said. If we talk every day, I'ma do a little background check on you. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> bro, 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 bro. What? How have I not heard this already? This is crazy. This is crazy. <laughs> Listen to this shit, bro. You get friends with you. And I used Good to talk to you every you. single day. Talk to I would do a day. little background check. Little like, is that is, is that check. bad? Yes, bro. That's weird. That's weird. Bro, if y'all know anyone like this, cut them off, bro. They're Norman. Bates Motel, they're Normans. Presidential threats, bro. That shit, power. What are you doing, bro? This is crazy. I could understand if y'all went into business and you're like, yo, do I have your consent to do a background check? You know, then, you know, but bro, this is weird, bro. It, 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 bro, y'all are friends over the internet. It's not like, it's not like someone's a bitch and you know, bitches gotta be more careful and they gotta like, they might, you know, that might, you might have a little just of a, uh, you know, but nigga, y'all are playing a fucking, a trash ass video, NBA 2K22, nigga. Well, <laughs> you were doing it before then. So just all these 2Ks has been coming out, nigga. Everything after 17 is shit. <laughs> and you, you doing a background check on niggas? At least ask for a consent, man. Contracts, dog. When, when, when you get a job in the real, real world, bro, you have to sign up and then they do a background check. You just don't do that shit. It, and if someone always says, it's public information, you, do y'all know niggas can look up your name, all that shit, put your address, put your mama address, ever, all that shit. It's public information. I didn't do nothing wrong, right? Any of those niggas are creep, weirdo, stalkers, unconsent, wanting ass niggas immoral rejects i'm telling you bro is deeper than the principle is deeper than the law my nigga these niggas lack the intellect to know what is right or wrong and they don't have no moral compass bro it's a it's a bad look bro listen to this nigga bro listen to this nigga bro. get friends with you and i used to talk to you every single day <laughs> i would do a little background check like is that bro, is, is that what? bad and then, and then people act like I'm stalking them because I'm finna do the back yes. check. Who finna do the background check on you? Yes. See, that's the thing. I make sure nobody can check me. But like, I, I do bro. a little, you know what I mean? That sounds weird, bro. Bro, but it's like, it gotta be dumb, bro. Bro, this is crazy, bro. If, if, th if this was another community, bro, it would be over for this nigga. 
but <laughs> nobody gives a fuck. One more thing, okay? Power did something else, and it was to slight the swan. So we must get into it. I got hundreds of mentions, hundreds of DMs over this. You know, I've been MIA, but I'm back, okay? Power drop. And the reason I'm responding to this, I'm not salty or none of that. I'm going to just drop some real facts for y'all, man. It's a lot of people trying to rewrite history, his story, okay? I'm going to really enlighten y'all, man. So let, let's read it. Here's my top 75 NBA 2K park creators ever in no order. I thought it would be cool with the NBA top 75 if I made a similar list for the park community. Some of these people don't make park content anymore or main content isn't park, but they all impacted the park in a big way. Okay, that's not true, but let's get into it, man. I'm gonna go over each one. I might not be too, too direct, but anyone that actually deserves it, I'm gonna give them their flowers. Everyone else says it's eh or nah. I'm gonna be like eh or nah. But for, first, I wanna talk about me, right? He made sure not to put me on this list. This this list has over like three million impressions, man. There's a lot of people trying to rewrite history, man. They're, they're trying to sketch me out the, the history books, man. You, you know, it, it's, it's deeper than a video game, man. I'm, I've am i helped people become millionaires, okay? Built up massive followings. I've, I've started trends that saved and changed people's lives forever it's bigger than that i will i would like that to be remembered you know if, if it, th this is look at it like a business okay you know like it's not cool because because you know he still got his juice my 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 shit now you know they they algorithm hoeing the nigga but nigga what i did is, is sketched in stone bro so it's not cool and the fact that like this is hella years from now so new people they're gonna think this and run with it and there's a lot of people who took like my shit and they running when it acting like they started it and it's just not cool bro it's not cool there's niggas there's streamers out there there's new youtubers acting like they started some shit that i started that they're the trendsetter i don't know what's up with y'all why does everyone want to be a trendsetter bro nobody ever wants to pay homage to their original sources it's crazy but anywho Let's go into it. Um, I got mentioned in this like had to be like 70 times. And even Power said, oh, I forgot. Like he didn't forget. He did that on purpose. Y'all already know he a skinny nigga with all that uh that shit with grinded and all them niggas. But look, so let's have a look at this, right? A lot of niggas don't understand, bro. They think but before I go over to this list, a lot of people think it was easier to grow back then which is not true bro we had to make the blueprint it's a lot easier to follow a blueprint than to create a blueprint on a higher comp level game and all that stuff now there's so many blueprints out there there's there's all this rating everyone knows how to edit there's tiktok instagram there's huge blowups that you've never seen before. The Aiden, the iShow Speed, the Pandemic. You know, we didn't have it like that, bro. Like, I didn't figure out how to really edit until 17. I was posting long ass videos with like no clips in 15 and 16. And like, niggas ain't know what like they was doing, bro. Like, and back in 2K16, bro, the 100K was 20K. Like, you know? Uh, the community didn't blow up till 17, bro. And the community is even bigger now than it's ever been. Even though, like, people aren't popping like that, it's easier now to get a name when you didn't have a name because all the big names aren't playing this. And there's still a big community for it. You know, so it's a lot easier to get known. All these new people getting known and stuff, they've been trying for, like, seven years, bro. You know, they're, they're real proud of themselves, but they've been trying for like seven years, there's a reason you pop now. Look, don't ever let anyone tell you to stop grinding 2K or something that's dead. The best time to grind, especially when you're unknown, is when it's dead, you know? When when all the big name streamers is playing and it's a real comp competitive level, you're gonna get drowned out. Like, no one's gonna fuck with you. Like, that. that's why niggas who was in my era, they was really them niggas, bro. Cause other mother, the niggas that's that's this juice now, 
they couldn't get looked at, you know? But anywho, Aiden, okay? Also, one more thing before I go over the list. I view anything after 2K, anything 2K18 after doesn't really, it's not really as solid as like creating a trend. Like you still could get your crazy numbers, but you didn't really create something, bro. Like 14, 15, 16, and 17, those, that's when the blueprints were made, bro. You know? Like you could have your big ass blow up in 19, 20, and 21, whatever. That don't mean just because you have way more subs or views than some nigga, that don't mean that you're more impactful to the park community just because you like blew up, bro. Like numbers, numbers don't show everything, man. I, I I've inspired creators. <laughs> you know, I've inspired people to start playing the video game. A lot of these people that blow up, they don't inspire nobody, bro. They're just, they're like Philip DeFranco, bro. Like everyone, they're just, they're just fence straddlers. Everyone loves a fence straddler, bro. You can't be mad at them. Aiden, you know, he blew up in 20 with the brawny shit, the gay shit. You know, he does a lot of nadexy mannerisms, a lot of, uh, <laughs> You know, a lot of gay stuff that everyone was already doing before him. You know, it's it's a trend. You know, I don't even think like like he's not even a real person to me. Like he's a created player to me. So I mean, eh, I mean you can because then like nigga got millions and shit. Like, but like for the park community, bro, like I don't really think he really like started anything, but I mean since his clout's so crazy, I guess you can, bro. And this is 2K20, bro. This is like late 2K. Um, Agent, of course, annoying. You know, he's had a lot of inspirations, but you know, he doesn't like to speak about them anymore. But you know, you know, he he he's done his thing for all these 2Ks, and you know, he he really inspired another a lot of other people. But you know, he was inspired by like Fredo, <laughs> Cash. You know, so many other people, and it's like, if them niggas ain't exist, he might not exist, you know? Cole, you know, he blew up at 18 when he started showing his face. Um, Cole used to spot up in the corner for me, man. He's one of my top supporters, dog. You know? I knew Cole before he even started his channel, man. Y'all don't even know that. Y'all don't even know that. And he, he, he had like a Christmas song. It was lit like a little Christmas rap. It was cool, man. But um, definitely, bro. He been doing his thing since the beginning. Uh, dignify. What? When? When? When did? I mean, just the NBA player shit. No limit started that. So it's like, you know, even though like you you can run with somebody's shit, like it's not. Yeah. Dope swag. You know, you just hit legend. Who care, bro? Easy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Flexing. My nigga flexing. You doing your thing, big dog. Um, He started late on this whole. Flexing used to edit from being 18 and 19, bro. I bet a lot of y'all didn't even know that shit, man. Actually, I'm not even going to go over the list, man. It's way too many people, bro. All I know for sure is that Swante, I, okay, this is this is not no cocky shit. The, 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 this is none of that shit, man. All I know, bro, is I have helped create millionaires. I have helped several people on this list get over a million subs without my existence. If I did not exist, there would be a lot of people that would not even exist, bro. Like their whole lives would be different, you know? Like, there's people, <laughs> there's people out here that would not have followings if I did not exist. That's why I will always be top 75, Mount Rushmore of ISO players. A lot of these niggas, it's, it ain't about the numbers, bro. I inspired these niggas, bro. I made these niggas. I made this shit cool, bro. I made this anime shit cool, bro. I made all this shit cool i gave niggas inspiration bro you know i'm davis 
was like my first sub in Twitch, bro. That was he was like my biggest fan. Now look at him. Millionaire or future millionaire, you know? I'm not going to just call out a bunch of people, bro, but it's a lot of niggas that if I didn't exist, they wouldn't exist. There's a lot of people out there that's just like they try to just everyone wants to be a trendsetter, bro. No one wants to pay homage, man. You know, there there were people that never used to ISO, right? And then you keep telling them, bro, ISO is what takes more skill. And you keep telling them and telling them and telling them, you know, they they not getting their numbers right, none of that shit. They finally switch over, you know, they pay homage, all that shit. You know, all the tweets, all the DMs. I'm so, Swante, you and you and Steezo, you y'all inspired me to to ISO. Even though it was really me, I don't know why everyone always mentioned Steezo when it was me. Like who? Like like they they always say like me and Steezo. Why why not? Why don't you just say me, nigga? I'm the nigga that you know that made you start ISOing. Like, cause I've been doing this since 15, big dog. Steezo started on the tube in like 18, man. Even though he was killing niggas with me in 16, you know, he ain't start posting till 18, nigga. So it's like, you know, I, I <laughs> you know, I, I'm that, I'm that ISO nigga, bro. I'm on the Mount Rushmore, nigga. It don't matter what nobody say, nigga. I'm the inventor. N niggas learned everything they know from me, nigga. Niggas hold mannerisms. All that shit, man. You know, I, I'm the original stage god. You know, I, I'm, I'm probably the first stage player to get numbers behind him. Like, to be honest, like the first one, bro. Like, that was just playing stage back when, you know, there was a skill gap, bro. I was the only nigga. Seriously. 15 through 17, all I was playing was stage before anyone could start playing stage, you know? The whole roasting niggas in the park and streams and the videos, the tutorials, bro. You know, I, I, was, I was the first to do that shit, nigga, you know? I was always the first to find the moves and then other channels posted it and got way more views than me and shit like that. I was, I was really on my shit, nigga. But yeah, man, n niggas, niggas really trying to rewrite history, his story. So he who lasts the longest, he who survives, gets to tell his story. You get it? You know, it's just like white people, you know, like, you know, all the history books, they're telling their story. That doesn't mean that's the truth, you know? Someone could blow up with ISO and then just say that they like and they never like cite all the ones before them you know black people think they just started being slaves when there's a lot more history than that bro there's a tons more you know it's conditioning but that that's how it is man with with everything in life man niggas niggas really try to do that shit in business relationships all that shit man and it's not cool in music especially bro like look let, let, me, let me let me let me tell y'all something why do y'all think a super big artist will get close to a to a mid-tier artist and likes to start like showing love like the kanye kid cuddy you know why because they take something for them, from them they take something from them a lot of the people y'all see that get cool and shit like that they take something from them, my nigga. And then since they cool, it's like, oh, you know, we brothers, we cool or some shit like that. It's like, oh, you know, like you, you can use my shit too. Because if niggas ain't cool and like a nigga just using somebody's shit, then like nigga be called out type shit. Like, you know, the Kanye, you know, the Travis Scott, Cuddy, like it, Kanye's the greatest. But there's a lot of people, there's a lot of artists that get close to somebody just so like you know it's cool for them to rock with it you know and that that's how a lot of this shit is built and y'all have no idea but like why why do you think everyone that's known in this like internet shit they're all so cool with me why is that or like they follow me or some shit 
why? You know, my, my numbers ain't jumping no more. Like, they, they, you know, why do they all follow me? Why is there just, like, so many people with over, like, millions of subs, like, follow me, you know? You never, never thought about it, man. Yeah, something to think about, my nigga, you know? But, hey, <laughs> I'm here to let y'all know. I'm going to keep doing my thing. Hope you niggas had a beautiful day. Hopefully, YouTube stops hoeing me in the goddamn algorithm. You know, a lot a lot of people don't get, get this 2K shit, this gaming shit in general, bro. I've been playing 2K for damn near, like, two decades or some shit. I don't know when this bitch first came out. Nigga, nobody's gonna, like, keep, like... Nigga, I've been posting since, like, 2K15, off and on, off and on. But it's like, bro, no one's, like, gonna, like, keep trying, like, how much they used to when like the game's getting asser you know so a lot of y'all need to stop like being nerds bro like nothing lasts forever and like niggas ain't gonna try like how they like used to bro like relax bro it's a video game let niggas have fun and shit like niggas this is not a competition bro it's years bro <laughs> like niggas been doing this bro like niggas niggas ain't gonna just like, it's, like, stop being weird, bro. Like, I don't know what be wrong with y'all niggas. <laughs> niggas is so weird. Like, damn, nigga, I gotta, I gotta pull 70K on all my YouTube videos for fucking, for fucking 20 years, bro. Like, bro, like, relax, bro. Y'all don't know what, how this content creating shit is bro it's uh, it's not like that bro you really fighting the algorithm even though niggas might fuck with you bro if you don't like find some way to finesse niggas to click your shit and like you not like a master manipulator on that shit like bro like and the algorithm don't fuck with you and like you cussing and shit like bro listen it's, it's, it's uh, you fighting the algorithm bro like you not it's not you, like, you're fighting an algorithm. Your subscribers don't even get notified. That's what y'all don't understand, bro. If your shit don't get pushed on the homepage, you're not getting views. If your shit get pushed on the homepage, you're going to blow up. You're gonna, like, it doesn't matter. Like, your sub feed, that shit not, it doesn't work. No one no one uses it anymore because of the, how everything's designed. But. I'm out this bitch, man. Y'all let me know what y'all want me to uh, post next, man. Adios. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here, here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm at made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome. dome.